An estimated, this is a hard number to believe, an estimated 18 million Americans are living with undiagnosed sleep apnea. Now, we were just talking about the snoring issue and that kind of thing. Help is on the way to help you diagnose it. Dr. Tom Sweeterman from Midmark joins us now. We were just talking, doctor. Good morning, by the Good way. Good morning. We were just talking about whether or not it's true. Does Not everybody who snores has sleep apnea, right? That is correct. Uh, but sleep apnea is highly... Uh, uh, indicative of, of, mm -hmm. of having a snoring problem with it as well. Can so. you qu quickly explain what it is and, and why it's important to diagnose sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is the intermittent obstruction of your airway as you sleep. And as you sleep, your body's trying to recover from illness and recover from mi micro damages that mm -hmm. occur during the day. And uh, the importance of sleep is that it gives your body a chance to recover. So if you're spending the night uh, with obstructed airway and you can't get the oxygen, you can't get the, the airflow that you need, mm -hmm. you're at higher risk for uh, lots of chronic diseases, including hypertension, diabetes, and heart failure. How were are, how are people diagnosed before versus how they're diagnosed today? I'm sure there have been a lot of advancements right. in the field. Right. The gold standard still is the uh, polysomnogram, which is an in-lab study. That in-lab study requires uh, an overnight stay at a sleep lab where they are monitoring you with 26 different channels. They also uh, videotape you. And that's uh, still a very traditional mm -hmm. way to get diagnosed. Okay, talk to me about the equipment you guys have at Midmark. It's the Midmark Sleep View equipment. Right. Now, what does that do? Well, the Midmark Sleep View is a way to take that in-lab study and bring it to the home. So mm. patients can have a lot uh, easier time getting themselves diagnosed. They don't have to spend the night in a foreign place having mm -hmm. people watch mm -hmm. them. And it's a, it's a home monitor, no bigger than, than this, mm -hmm. and it actually uh, uh, sits on your belly like this with a strap going around your chest, a small lead to determine your oxygen levels, and a uh, sensor that goes into your, your na nasal passages to see if you're actually breathing. And so the information is stored on, on this computer, and then is it as accurate, I guess, as it's going to the it's, lab? Or? It's about 90 plus 90 per percent okay, as accurate good. as an in-lab study. And uh, when you get done with your study, you bring it back to your doctor. And, and we're seeing this, uh, the video here yeah. shows exactly how it works. And he uploads the study mm -hmm. after uh, the patient has done the night uh, test, and we're able to diagnose uh, the sleep apnea. From how much does something like this cost? Is this like an insurance thing? Do you just have to pay out of pocket? How does it? Well, it's become a real uh, trend in the insurance yeah. world to pay for the home study. Okay. In fact, uh, some insurance companies are directing people towards the home study, and most insurance uh, payers will uh, provide reimbursement for this for their patients. Okay, tell me, talk to me, uh, talk me through the process, I guess. You do this at yeah. home, you wake up, the information goes, uh, what happens to the results? And then at what point do you decide maybe it's time to go see a doctor? Well, there's where the innovation comes in. Yeah. Um, we have uh, created a system where when you plug the device into an enabled computer, mm -hmm. all the data that gets recorded on the device gets uploaded into an internet portal, very secure site. And we send that data to a registered board certified sleep specialist who interprets it and gives a diagnosis and a potential treatment plan. Wow. There's a question there also, because a lot of I was talking to you before we went on and I said, right. Well, you know, my wife says I snore. Right. And then she's saying, Well, do you have sleep apnea? Because a friend of ours has right. sleep apnea. Uh. So this is something that you maybe you fill out a questionnaire and, and from that you can determine right. whether or not you should maybe right. try this? Yes, uh, it's very simple to screen yourself. Actually, mm -hmm. if you go to midmarksleepview.com, there's a screener study there that you can do at your home. It's very simple, very typical language. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also important if you are a spouse and your uh, partner is uh, pausing and breathing at night, snoring loudly, not waking up refreshed. It is something you should a ask your spouse to get mentioned at the next visit to his doctor. And, you're, and you mentioned this earlier. This is important for your health because right. all the things that happen when we're sleeping, right. and if you're not getting that good night's sleep, it can affect you in the long term. That's the research that's become increasingly more mm -hmm. uh, powerful. Um, you're at much greater risk for a sudden cardiac death, at least uh, uh, as an independent risk factor. Mm -hmm. You have a much higher risk of hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. So without having this diagnosed or treated, you are kind of setting yourself up wow. for some risks. And you know, we're on the morning show, so we struggle with sleep as it is. So this right. is all very good information. Dr. Uh, Sweeterman from Midmark, we thank you for your time. Thanks for the information. This is oh, good stuff. Thank you. Especially for us here. But uh, we Great thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you the time. Thank all right, you. still ahead here on the Fox 5 Morning News, where passengers refused to get off of a plane after they were delayed. Doctor, they were delayed for nine hours. Can you imagine? Yeah.